The first time I laid my eyes on you I knew We'd spend this life side by side I still feel the same though you're so far away I swear that you'll always be mine And hours and years may go by But my heart knows nothing of time So don't cry, just keep me right there in your dreams And hold on to these words of mine Butterfly, I am so sorry. When she told me she wanted to do that song, she told me to take it down one, but I believe she could do it original, so I let her go. <laughs> good job, girl, good job. It sounded great from the back. Blend of the voice and music sounded good. I think we're ready to go. So on behalf of Faces Lounge, karaoke by the Raging Cajun, everybody's beautiful in Marietta, who is sponsoring our third place winner with a body spa. So uh, we just, Jimmy's Fresh Kitchen is in the back. Jimmy's back there. So all the food you get, cooked fresh daily by Jimmy's Fresh Kitchen. All right. So we're ready to go with round seven. Round seven. All right. Let me give y'all, you know what? We had an elimination last week, so that means we shuffle the order again. So this week, your order of rotation is going to be, leading it off for us is going to be Daniel, then Festus. Then Alpha T, then Todd, Rob will be number five, Brandy comes in at number six, then Heather, Paul, and rounding it out is Richard. All right, so ought to be a nice round. We've got musicals coming up. God, I can't wait. Musicals, Broadway, this ought to be a lot of fun. So without further ado, it is time to start. So Daniel, make your way up here. 
And don't forget, if you got people out there that can't be here tonight, they can always check us out live on the internet at justin.tv forward slash faces lounge. So give them a call, text them, do whatever you need to do. Make sure they log on and check you out live on the internet here at Faces Lounge. I am the Raging Cajun, if you didn't know that, but most everybody does. All right, Richard. I mean, Daniel, excuse me. Daniel, Richard, you both look alike, you know, who knows? All right, Daniel. You amaze me every week when you do that stuff. I tell you what. James, what you got for Daniel? Ladies and gentlemen, James. My wife loves me. Um, <laughs> thank goodness she's here. Uh, good job, man. That was that was smooth. I liked it. Definitely liked it a lot. Thanks. Uh, that's all I have. Okay, cool. Thank you. Wow, short but sweet, huh? Short, sweet. Samantha <laughs> Lily, what's up, Samantha? Oh, you used my last name. I'm sorry. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm sorry. Samantha, <laughs> what's up, baby? Um, wow. I feel like we got our old Daniel back a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. That was really, really nice. Um, I have no critiques. The only thing I could say is maybe to have just used the, the floor a little bit more, but the, the everything, voice, pitch, was there perfect, and your outfit matched nicely tonight. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Samantha. Our videographer and star head judge. Steve Fisher, what's up, man? I'm doing good. Thank you there, Mr. Cajun. 
I have to admit, I really like that song, and the sound of your voice, I started searching in my mind, is you sound like you know, like Tony Bennett, Tony Stewart, uh, I mean, where where's it coming from? And I said, Frank Sinatra, that's, that's the closest as I can really match to it. But you've got an impeccable voice, it carries a great tune, and it was a good song choice for you. Outfit's great, like Samantha said, awesome job. Cool, thank you. Thank you, judges! Thank you, Daniel. Good job, my friend, good job. Next up, we got Festus. Festus, make your way on up here. Festus is dressed like a stowaway on the Titanic. Wasn't really a great ticket to have, was it? <laughs> All right, you ready? Did she really throw the ring in the water?
All right, Festus, good job. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. All right, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch the cables. Cables up. That one. Uh, a lot of bends and kinks seems to work for me sometimes, and sometimes it don't. We never know. But I'll switch it up. Heard a little crackling in there. I don't think that was your voice. I think it was the microphone. Samantha, what you got? You know what? I turned you down too. Hold on. But, 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 yay. Um, Festus, I think that that was a really big song for you to try to take on. Um, I'm not sure if it was, if it matched your voice. Um, you fought your way through it, even through the, the crinkling of the microphone, and you, and you got through the song. But I'm not sure if it was the best song choice for you. I know. All right, Stephen. I'm going to sound more like Slimon, actually. <laughs> ruh -ruh raggy It was the wrong song, you sang it in the wrong key, and you didn't get high enough to make the notes yours. You were sour on a lot of notes, and it was definitely the wrong song. Because if you did sing it in a lower key, I might have believed that you were good for it. But when you sing a song, and I did the same thing Friday night, when you sing a song that's just totally out of your realm and you don't bring it down a couple of keys, it sounds like a mouse on stage and someone's squeezing the life out of it. And that's, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the, the tone and the quality that brings the richness in your voice out, not you straining to get to it. So I have to say that's the wrong song for you altogether. But you, you did push your way through it, and i got to give you credit for that. But Thank you. I would definitely... We need to hear something in your range, not you going to the falsetto extreme every time. Bring out, I think if you went to lower register altogether, you might have nailed that. But you believed in your mind that it had to be up there. You're not her. Be yourself. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right, thank you. All right, David. That, James. You, you're definitely not Celine Dion. Uh, <laughs> you don't look anything like her. She has longer hair. I don't too. That's one difference. Uh, <laughs> iceberg! <laughs> I, I, Doug. You, you found the iceberg. Um, no, dude, we love you. Uh, don't be discouraged. You you tried something and uh, didn't come out quite the way you planned, I'm sure. But uh, I mean, there were some good parts to it. You were on notes and stuff. But uh, you know, just uh, we love you anyway. Don't don't worry about it. Just keep smiling, buddy. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. All right, James. Thank you, Festus. Good job, guys. I'm sorry about the uh, the cables. Um, some people don't realize that this is a karaoke stage and not a rock stage, and they like to sing Van Halen and stuff and get out there and swing the chords and, you know, things like happen. So I figure it out when I get here whether it's working or not. So I'll try to keep a couple spare chords up here at $25 a pop and see what happens, all right? But uh, this one here I think will work. Just uh, be careful with it. If I catch it going down, I'll try to make adjustments on my end. So I apologize, Festus. For uh, that kicking out on you a little bit there. We'll try to keep things going in the right dimension. Alpha T, Alpha T, are you here yet? I don't have anything from you. Going once, going twice, sold to the lady in a long black dress. No, wait, wrong song. All right, next up then we got ch -ch -ch, number four would be Todd. Tasmanian Todd, come on up. Let me tell you what will happen to it if you swing it again. <laughs> All right, hold on. Try it again. Ooh, ooh. Okay, now we got it. Got it up you, now. You know what I forgot? When you switch the microphones, you have to make sure you have the right one turned up. Oh, hell. <laughs> My bad. Give me a mic test real quick. Test. 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 Okay. Wow, what a night. Yay. i tell you what. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tasmanian Todd, our resident rocker.
Both eyes silent still in the dead of the night Wonder if I could gather we both tail miles apart Was it something I said or something I did? Did my words have turned out right? Though I try not to hurt you Though I try, but I guess that's why they say Every rose has its thorn Just like every night is its thorn Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its This is my favorite song playing on the radio. And then the DJ say loves the game of easy come man, easy go. But I wonder, does he know? Has he ever been like this? And I know that you'd be here right now if I could let you know somehow. I guess it's a rose as it's long. Just like this is stone Just like every cowboy Sing a sad, sad song Every rose has its song Go it's been a while now I can she feels so much pain Like the knife that cuts you The wound heals but the sky, the sky remains the No one could have saved our love down if I know what to say. Instead of making love, we both made our separate ways. And now I hear you found somebody new, and I know you never mind that she is to you. She tears me up inside, she cuts me just like a knife, I guess. Every rose has its thorn Just like every night has its thorn Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its thorn Let me make sure I turn the right mic up. Hang on to that. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Todd, good job. Steven, what's up? Record Todd. I think that was a good song choice for you. A couple of the words might have been rushed in a couple of places, but I think you had fun with it, and I think it was a good song to fit in everything. Your vocals were definitely there. I like the fact you got off stage, moved around a little. A little more emotion in the song, maybe. But all in all, great choice. He was going to swing the cord, but he thought about what I said. I, yeah, I, I don't want to piss Vic off. <laughs> James, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have to agree with Steve. That, that was a pretty good song for you. I uh, started off just a little bit shaky at the beginning, but once you got into it, you were into it, and, and, and you did a really good job of it. Really good job. Um, I agree with everything that Steve said, though. Um, you know. Uh, 
did a good job. And Samantha. Um, I have to ask. I know the song, obviously, but what Broadway musical? Rock of Ages, 2006. Ah. I knew that because I asked already. <laughs> well, he cheated. Thank you. I'll have to look into that one. Uh-oh. She made no, the duck points No, later. it's good. It's, no, it, no, no, it's no, good no. 80s music on most of it. I was going to do Bon Jovi, but this one won out because someone told me so. I like it. I like, I like um, that you did the song. I, it's definitely a good song choice for you. Um, there were a few words that were rushed, but I mean that that all comes with singing a song that maybe you're not as comfortable with. But I think all in all, you you did a really good job with it. So, applause. Touche. All right. And thank you guys. Next up, Rob, number five. Rob, come on up. How do you do I see you met my faithful hand? It's just a little blood down because when you knocked, he thought you were the candy man. Did you break it? Don't get strung out by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not much of a man. By the light of day, but at night I'm one hell of a lover. I'm just a sweet transvestite, from transsexual Transylvania. Let me show you around, maybe play you a sound. You look like you're both pretty groovy. Or if you want something dizzy or the trout to a bismol, we can take in an old Steve Reeves movie. I'm glad we called you at home. Could we use your phone? Yes. We're both in a bit of a hurry. Right. We'll just stay where we are, then go back to the car. We don't want to be any worry. Well, you got caught with a flag away. How about that? No, babies, don't you panic. By the light of the night, it'll all seem all right. I'll get you a satanic mechanic. I'm just a sweet transvestite. From transsexual Transylvania. for the night, or maybe a bite. I can show you my favorite obsession. I've been like making a man, you know, like with like blonde hair and a tan, you know, and he's good for relieving my tension. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual I'm just a Transylvania. So, come up to the lab. See what's on the slab. I see a shiver with Antissa. Patient! But maybe the rain is really to blame. So, I'll remove the cause. <laughs> but not the symptom. Oh, Rob. 
Rob, Rob, Rob. What size shoes are those, man? I want to well, borrow you know them. What they say, big feet. I want to borrow them. <laughs> Rob. Oh, Rob. I'm still confused. Hold on. You're not Rob. You're. James. What's your name again? James. James. Yeah. Five <laughs> words. Thank God for short cords. <laughs> Because he was coming after me. I was getting a little worried. I could have given um, you more slack. Well, that's, that's something different. Oh, I'm in the way. Hold on. He's posed. Smile. Smile oh, pretty. God. Okay. <clears throat> you have a fan. That was uh, awesome. Uh, I love Fishnet, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you know what? That was cool. You shut James up. How cool was that? <laughs> Samantha. Um, <laughs> That's two. Um, <laughs> you, you know what? Honestly, I have to thank you for doing this because it takes an extremely brave individual and somebody who is very secure with himself and, and doesn't give a shit what anybody else thinks to come up on stage and do something like this. So thank you for that. And and the performance was out of this world. That was fantastic. Thank you, Samantha. Steven! When you said you had a few things in mind, boy, did you really. Uh, wow. <laughs> that was an awesome performance. It was definitely off the chain. I mean, everything was there. We had all the ingredients for a great performance, a great musical, and you definitely have made Broadway hit tonight. Great job. You know, that's called entertainment right there, I got to tell Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you, Rob. Good job, Doesn't my friend. Good job. Better. <laughs> you, know, better. you know, that's something we've been contemplating here at Faces also, was having a Rocky Horror Picture Show night. And um, that may be happening. Uh, rumor has it that we may be changing the carpet out in the next, uh, few, in the near future. The night before we do that, we may just have a Rocky Horror night so that we can mess everything up and just roll it up and get it out. So if we have a Rocky Horror Show night, look for it. We'll have karaoke up until midnight when we do. Then we'll play the show on the big screen. Everybody dressed apart. Let's just have a great time with it. You don't really see it anymore like you used to in the 70s, but it's still out there. It's a great lot of fun. I know I had fun with it back in the day when I was young. So uh, good job, Rob. Way to bring it back, man. I love it. Brandy, come on up, Brandy. Okay, guys, we're uh, we're kind of experimenting with this a little, but uh, we worked on it the other night, and it worked good. So uh, this is off of YouTube because it's something we don't have. So we're going to uh, slide that over where she can see it if needed. Yeah! Let his flesh not be turned, let his blood leave no stain. Though they beat him, let him feel no pain. Though his bones never break in hell, they try to destroy him. Let him never die, let him never die. What good is this chanting? I don't even know what I'm reading. I don't even know what trick I ought to try. Fiera, where are you? Already dead or bleeding. One more disaster I can add to my generous supply. No act of charity goes unresented. No good deed goes unpunished. That's my new creed. My road of good intentions, let such roads always lead. 
no good deed goes unpunished. Nessa, Dr. Tillman, Fiel. One question haunts and hurts. Too much, too much to mention. Was I really seeking good or just seeking attention? Is that all good deeds are looked at with an ice cold eye? Is that all good deeds are? Well, maybe that's the reason why. No good deed goes unpunished. The whole health allergic should be circumvented no good deed goes unpunished sure I meant well well what what well meant did already enough so be it so be it then let all odds be agreed I'm wicked through and through since I cannot succeed Fiero saving you I promise no good deed will I attempt to do again ever again no good deed will I do All right, Brandy. Way to go. Look, nice outfit. I like that. Oh, wait, you left your purses here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> right. Samantha. Um, wow. That was really. Can, are you okay? Can you, oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Swallowing that toad, toad leg of lizard or whatever it was in the um, chondral. I am, I am very impressed. There were a few parts in there where you were forcing a lot more air out and it felt more like screaming but as that song is a triumphant song and you you did it justice good job Stephen I have to agree with you it's a very hard song to do and it changes ranges from top to bottom really quick you did a great job I liked it. It was really great. And your skit on the floor, reading Satanic Bella, whatever you're doing down there, was great. That was awesome. The crowd really couldn't see it, but people on the internet got it really good, and you'll be able to play that back. Awesome song choice. I think it was perfect for you. Outfit is wonderful. Whole package. Great professional show. All right. James, what's your thoughts? The, uh, no. Uh, what was that from? Wicked. Wicked. What is it? I don't, I, I don't go to Broadway. It was okay. from Wizard of Oz. She was that wicked oh, witch person. I kind of got that a little bit. I was worried maybe there was some water on the floor and you melt or something. She's melting. Yeah, that happened in the movie, didn't it? I saw the movie, but not. I saw the movie, but not the uh, Broadway production. She's a teacher, so she's over here. I loved it. Uh, I have no other critique than that. I loved it. Uh, very, very well done. I, I liked your voice in it. Uh, I understand what she said about the, the, the loudness and there, but you know what? I, I still loved it, so I, that didn't bother me at all. Good job. Thank you, Thank you judges. Thank you, Brandy. Don't put no curses on me, all right? I got to move uh, Frankfurter's jacket out of the way. Excuse me. All right, next up is Heather. Heather, come on up.
And all that chairs, I'm gonna lose my knees and pull my stockings down. And all that chairs, not the car, I know a whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's just a noisy home, but there's a nightly falling on that. phone just rang. It was Bob Fosse. He wanted to know where the hell you've been all his life. I'm just saying. She says who? <laughs> all right. Who's up? Who's up? Steven. <laughs> wow. You were definitely ready to sing that. I could tell heart and soul in it. Costume looks fantastic. That was an awesome performance. You out of breath. <laughs> that song will do it to you. I can tell. That was an excellent performance. I enjoyed that. James. Uh, ditto on that. Um, I have one question. Maybe you can answer it. Doesn't rouge go on your face, so why did they put it on their knees? I don't know. She said, 
He says, I'm going to roll my stockings down and put rouge on my knees. Am I wrong? So when she kneels on you. Yeah. Ne never mind. Never mind. Okay, I just want her to knee thing. Anyway. Never mind. Uh, the teacher's trying to tell me again. Uh, she did some awesome job. We'll, we'll uh, show you later, James. Okay, yeah, sure. Are you going to do it? I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, back to what were we talking about? Oh, singing. All that jazz. Oh, uh, great job. Great job on a great song. All right. Samantha. Um, I have to say that if, if I were in this particular contest, that's the song that I would have done because it's one of my all-time favorites. And I want to thank you because that was fantastic. That was jazzalicious. I saw your head over there. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Heather. Wow. Yeah, this is getting to me now. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> we, had, we had a tragedy in the hallway, apparently. I'll check that out a little bit later on the break. All I know is it ain't my equipment. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Next up is Paul. Polly, come on up. Polly's going to do another one on YouTube, so we'll see how that one goes. start that over the words aren't highlighted yeah, I was uh, unfortunately thought I might have been off unfortunately when you're getting on these YouTube sometimes you can't get them right you ready all right let's start it from the top Paula you ready I'm ready let's give it a shot here Song about love, glory. 
story from the soul of a young man, a young man. Glory, find the song before the virus takes hold. Glory, like a sunset. One song to redeem this empty life. Time flies, and I don't need to endure anymore. Time dies. This sucks. My microphone is terrible tonight. All right, Polly, way to go now. James, what you got? Uh, that was from Rent, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I was just guessing it said it on the screen. I didn't know that. Never heard the song before, but after hearing you sing it, I, I would listen to that song. Definitely. Check, check. I think you did a, a wonderful job. I liked your voice on it. Uh, great job. Thank you. All right, Samantha. Um, I completely agree. I think that was a perfect song choice for you. Um, you did it very well. I, it's very hard to do a song when the words are at you, but you're not. You have to know the song like the back of your hand to get it exactly on time. But you did a really great job with that because that can be confusing. Um, the performance was great. Your voice was great. So, good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Samantha. Stephen. Having the knowledge that you could have sang the a cappella, I honestly think you should have, because I think you would have been better without the accompaniment of the internet at that point, because I think you, yourself, were a great singer and nailed it, but I think the music misled you slightly. But all in all, I'd have to still say that was an awesome sound performance, but I didn't see enough physical performance with it. You were too busy trying to follow the words, where if you were doing an a cappella, you wouldn't even have thought twice of looking at any screen. You'd have been engaging the crowd more. I can, I can do it over. Y'all want to hear it a cappella? <laughs> we believe you can do it. It's a, it's a good song choice for you. I have to agree with both the judges there. So definitely Thank something you. to put in the, the keep box. Yeah. Good choice. All right. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Polly. Good job, my friend. Good job. Next up is Richard. Richard, make your way up here. Well, it's cause automatic, automatic, systematic, hydromatic, why it's greased lightning. Grease lightning. Some overhead lifters and some four barrel quads, oh yeah. Walkie -talkie -talkie. Fuel injector cutoffs and chrome bladed rods, oh yeah. So full speed on the floor, they'll be waiting at the door. You know it ain't no shit, we'll be getting at the tick. Light there. Oh, it's you're burning through the corner of my house. Oh, he's lighting, you're going through the heat like trial. Oh, he's lighting, you're going through the heat like trial. Oh, he's lighting,
dream Set the tree For grease lightning Lightning Yeah Oh <laughs> Should I call you Richard or Danny Zuko or Kaniki? Which one are you? <laughs> uh, Danny Zuko, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Danny? Good job. <laughs> I told you I always get Richard and Danny confused. I mean, I'm just saying. Who we got, Steven? That was like so unbelievable. <laughs> you were definitely a performance to watch. You, your prop was fantastic. Your Energy was up on the stage, unbelievable. Great song choice, great performance, all in all. Thank good, you. Good one. All right, James. Man, one of my favorite performers. You know, Arthur Fonzarelli was great uh, in that show. Uh, I, I watch him every week. Um, great job, on James. That. James. <laughs> that was Happy Days. This is Greece. Danny Zuko. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> It's cool. John, it's cool. John? John? Oh, okay. Who's that other guy? Henry Winkler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's him. Good. Same, same, same type. type. Yeah, you, you get, get, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, good job. Good job. I like the uh, prop there. It, it, was, it was cute. Very cute. Thanks. I don't think James saw the movie. I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, Samantha. I have to say that was a fantastic way to end the first round because that was by far, I can't say it was the best performance. It was up there with the top. That was there. You guys have really, really pulled it out tonight because I've seen some really great performances. But you had a whole routine down. The whole thing. I mean, checking the car and moving the car and then getting in the car and the jacket and the glasses. And I was, it was like a movie I was or a musical. And I was completely entertained the whole way through it. And the voice. I've never heard you sing that low. It was nice. Worked on it. It was very nice. I liked it. Great job. All right, judges, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Good job, my friend. Good job to all our contestants with our Broadway musical round. They really pulled it out tonight. I got to love it. Great job. We're going to take a break and a pause for the cause while the contestants get ready for their song of choice. Alpha T gone? Alpha T, are you still here? All right, Alpha T is here, so we're going to let him do it before we end this first round. Yep. I just need a song. What's your Broadway or musical? All right, guys, Alpha T is here, so he's going to do his uh, Broadway show. Broadway. My version of Broadway.
right, Alpha T. James, you're up. Hold on to that mic, man. Hold on to that mic. Good to see you tonight. Thank you. Glad you can make it, man. Really. Lunch hour. <laughs> I know how hard it is for you to get up here. Uh, we appreciate you putting in the effort and getting up here, man. Glad to be here. Uh, I think that was a, a great song choice for you, and uh, I just admire your your uh, creativity when you sing. I mean, it goes along great. Goes goes great. You know, you don't you don't follow it exactly, but you do an awesome job of of your interpretation on it. Thanks. Thank you, Samantha. Um, I'm, I completely agree with what James said. You always have a way of making a song completely your own, but also making it sound like it was meant to be that way. In some other alternate universe, that's exactly how that song was meant to be done. And it's perfect, and I love that you can do that so easily. Um, beautiful song. Very good song choice for you. Nicely done. Thank you. Steven. I have to agree with the other judges. It was an excellent song choice for you. I like the little riff you put in in the middle of each one of those areas of the chorus where you took it and you, you, you just rolled with it and you really made it yours. And that's what's great about a good performer. When you can take a song and just throw away what's there and make it what you want it to be, to feel comfortable with it and to have fun with it, you do that. It was a great choice for you. Good way to end the Broadway tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Alpha T. All right. All right, we're going to take a break now. Now that all the contestants have sang in the first round, we're going to take a break, and I'm going to do like three karaoke songs. Deb's up there. Deb, come on up here. From the American Gigolo in 1980, she's doing a Broadway musical too.
All right, Deb, way to go, way to go. All right, Debbie, come on up, Debbie. Is that it? You got it? No, that's right. Johnny Cash. Jason, I need, 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 This is an audience participation song. with a little crazy hand job. All right. Is it Andy? How do I say that name? Is it? How do you say that name? Andy, is that right? All right, come on up. After this, we'll get back to our second round here. All right, young lady, you ready? Yes, Andy. You got it, you got it. Oh, but starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out, and I let your ship in. See how I live with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. Scars of your love remind me of us. They keep me 
All right, Andy, good job. Nice job. We'll see you after the show as well. I think you got a duet up. All right. Guys, y'all ready to start the second half? Are y'all ready to start the second half? All right, first up we got Daniel. Daniel, bring it on up. Test? Okay, there it goes. As the winds her winds litter London with lonely hearts All the warmth in your eyes swept me into your arms the love, the fear, the poem that led us through the night For every kiss, your beauty trumped my doubt And my head told my heart, let love grow But my heart told my head, this time, no, this time, no Washed and buried one day, my girl And the time we were given will be left for the world The flesh that lived and loved will be eaten by clay So let the memories be good for those who stay That sent me off from the God that I once loved was the same that sent me into your arms. Oh, pestilence is one when you are lost and I am gone, and no hope, no hope will overcome. But if your strife strikes at your sleep, remember. Springs was no release. You'll be happy and wholesome again when the city clears and the sun sets. Way to go, friend. Way to go. Who we got? James. Hi. Hi. I think everyone liked that. What do you think? Awesome. I'm good. I'm, I hope everybody liked it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We got some fans out there. Great job on that. Uh, cool. Thank you. I'm going to say so. I never heard that song before. But uh, see, I knew, I knew, I knew I'd right hear sounds behind me. But uh, I loved it. It's a great song. Good cool. job. Thank you. Samantha. 
I'm going to tell you that I felt like I was sitting in my car listening to Mumford and Sons perfectly. That was absolutely perfect. I have nothing else to say. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Perfect. Steven. Great song choice. Great artist singing it, being you. Great soundtrack all together. It was just great, man. You did a good job at it. I enjoyed it. I sat here just falling in love with it. And your voice took me back to the old lands. I'm sitting here. I didn't think he had it in him, but boy, he's got the right tone, the right attitude. And I'm just picturing valley after valley after valley after valley with a lot of sheep. <laughs> that was awesome. Wait, did that he really awesome. just say he was picturing sheep? Sheep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Lots of sheep. Pink Floyd sheep, yeah. Are you my daddy? <laughs> All right. Thank you, judges. And thank you, Daniel. All right. Festus, come on up. All right, Festus, come on up. Do I have your attention now? Day after day I'm more confused Yet I look at the light for the pollen rain You know that's a game that I hate to lose And I'm feeling a strain I ain't ashamed Oh, give me the beat, boys To free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Give me the beat, boys To free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Getting to think that I'm wasting time Don't understand the things I do The wall outside looks so unkind And I'm kind on you You could call it me true Give me the people to free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll And drift away oh, yeah. Give me the people to free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Do you want to take away My mind is free You know the melody can move me And when I'm feeling blues Guitar's coming true to suit me Thanks for the joy that you've given me The joy that you've given me Wanted to know that I believe in your song Oh yeah, your rhythms and rhymes and the harmony. Ooh, you can help me along. Oh, making me strong. Oh, give me the beat, for to free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh yeah, give me the beat, for to free my soul.
All right, Festus, way to go, my friend, way to go. Samantha. Yes. Um, I have to say, Festus, you redeemed yourself. Yay. Thank you. That was that was very good. Um, that was definitely a better song choice for you. You felt I could tell you felt more comfortable with it. Um, the performance was there. You ended up with dancers on the stage because you you know you moved people. So good job. Thank you. you paid them twenty bucks. <laughs> it feels much easier to sing a song in your own register, doesn't it? Rather than straining for it. <laughs> And we know that you know that song. We've heard it up here a number of times. And you get better and better every time you do it. Like she said, you had dancers on the floor. That was a big plus. I mean, you connected with the audience. Or a few of them, anyway. But all in all, I have to say that was a great song choice for you. So keep going. You're in this contest still. All right. James. Rocking the Doby Gray. Uh, great song choice, as they said. Uh, I... I you know, going last is great because I say I totally agree with the other judges. Um, great song choice, great, great singing uh, for you, and uh, just smile. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Festus. Alpha T. Alpha T, come on up.
Oh, yeah. All right. Alpha T. Held on to that mic. All right. Who we got? Steven. Man, anytime you grab that microphone, I want to be there on the other side listening. You have got just a voice. It just, it's so mellow and it's so pitch perfect that when you get on stage and make it your own, you just take it to another level. And that's what I like to hear. An artist that can make a song his own, whether he wrote it or whether he borrowed it, no matter where it came from, you do that, man. You make that song worth listening to. Thank you. All right. James. Sweetness, man. Awesome job. Samantha. Short and sweet. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to add because, I don't know, you, you blow me away every time I hear you sing, and I'm just super glad that you that you came back tonight. Um, the one thing that I, that I thought of while you were singing that is the, the fact that you can do the high notes, the low notes, the in-between notes, and yet you still have this raspy tone and quality to your voice when it's necessary. You don't overdo it, and it's just amazing. Good job. Thank you very much. All right, judges, thank you. Thank you, Alpha T. Next up is Todd, Tasmanian Todd. Come on up.
your heart What the reason That I'm still alive All right, Todd, what's going on, man? Wait, Judges, what? who we got? James. Todd, for some reason, I feel like I need to go home and take a shower. That was a very nasty, dirty song, and it was perfect for you, man. I, I meant that as a compliment. Uh, you were into it, and uh, I enjoyed it, man. Uh, I really got nothing more to say than that. Uh, great job, man. Samantha, <laughs> um, you made it. You made it a performance. That uh, it's an interesting song choice, but it, it was a good song choice for you. Um, I do like the song, and I like the way that you did it because it wasn't exactly the original. So I, I do applaud you for that. I, I have no critiques because you had every aspect of performance down for that song. So great job. Steven, were you becoming the animal during that song? I might be. I, I believe you were, man, because we were seeing a transfiguration going on in front of us from Todd to man before man animal and then back to Todd. <laughs> the music was definitely there, man. It was a good song choice for you, and I have to admit, the stage presence was just, it was there. You had people out here going, whoa, wow, what, yeah, screams. I mean, it was all out here. So you had the audience captivated. That's part of being a star, man. Great job. All right. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Todd. Way to go, my friend. Way to go. Next up is Rob. Rob, come on up. shock my personal hair system my own personal hair my head huh. on nights Across the trailer park I get down I feel hurt Feel on the verge of going mad Then it's time to punch the clock I put on some makeup tape deck and put the wig back on my head 
Suddenly I'm Miss Midnight Check out Midwest Queen Until I head home And I put myself to bed I look back on where I'm from Look at the woman I've become And the strangest things seem suddenly routine I look up from my vermouth on the rocks A gift wrapped wig still in the box Of towering velveteen I put on some makeup Some leather and baker I'm pulling a wig down from the shelf Suddenly I'm Miss Beehive 1963 Until I wake up and I turn back to myself Some girls they have natural ease They wear it the way they please With their French lip curls and puffy magazines Wear it up, let it down This is the best way that I've found To be the best you've ever seen I put on some makeup on the eight track I'm pulling my wig down from the shell Suddenly I'm Miss Sarah Fawcett from TV Until I wake up and I turn back to myself Now's the part where you all sing along with Hedvig. Follow the small white bouncing ball behind me and sing with the purple dinosaur. I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Everybody! Okay. I put on some makeup. I can't hear you. I have two wigs on. Turn on the eight track. What am I pulling from the shelf? Is here? I'm pulling the wig down from the shelf. Suddenly I'm this punk rock star on stage and screen. And I ain't never, I never turn back. That was bothering me too. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, Roberta. Good job. <laughs> wow, I think he's getting used to these dress things now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this, could be a new, this could be a new gig for you. Um I don't I don't know what to say. Um great job. I mean, like I said before, you've you've got nerve. Nerve. Um <laughs> and the Performance-wise, it was off the charts, and I will say, vocally, I was impressed. So, and and you have to tell me what that's from. Uh, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Okay, fantastic. I loved it all the way across the board. Perfect. Steven. Wow. 
You amaze me coming out here with not just your outfit, but with your vocal abilities to handle this kind of songs while you're performing still, because that takes a lot to even hold the routine down and still be on track to match all these vocals. So, sweetie, you look fantastic even without the hair. Honestly, uh, great job. Fantastic performances tonight. I enjoyed all of them. She's doing Sinead O'Connor next. <laughs> James. All the flowers in the... Okay, sorry. I was thinking Sinead. Um, we're going to set this way. <clears throat> Too much beans or what? I No, that was... Just, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, great legs, by the way. Um, <clears throat> oh, pink it's going to take me too. all night to get this out of my head. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, uh, I paid for take that to show him. This is, I, I, I'm going to need some therapy after this. I don't know. Um, uh, outside of that, you're going to need therapy. Yes. Uh -huh. it, or something, I don't know. Um, uh, you did a great job, man. Uh, I agree with the other guys. Um, you know, your performance was off the charts. Your singing was great. Uh, you were awesome, awesome tonight, man. Great job. Uh, Roberta. Good job, Roberta. Thank you, judges. Hey, don't forget I got your robe up here later. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. What do I do with that? Uh, Brandy, Brandy, come on up. Feel my heartbeat keeping perfect time, and all because he touched me, he looked at me and stared. Yes, he bumped me. My heart was unprepared when he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Cause when he nudged me, love put me in a fix. Yes, it hit me just like a ton of bricks. Yes, I heart first now. I know what life's about. One little touch, and love's knocked me out. And I can hear the bells. My head is spinning. I can. girl who looks like me can't win his love well just wait and see cause I can hear the bells just hear them chiming I can hear the bells my temperature's climbing I can't contain my joy cause I finally found the boy I've been missing listen I can hear the bells He'll ask me on a date, and then round two, I'll primp, I won't be late, because round three is when we kiss inside his car. Won't go all the way, but I'll go pretty far. Round four, he'll ask me for my hand, and then round five, we'll book the wedding band. So by round six, Amber, much to your surprise, this heavyweight champion. Take the prize and I can hear the bells. My ears are ringing. I can hear the bells. The bridesmaids are singing. Everybody says that a guy who's such a gym won't look my way. Well, the laugh's on them. Well, I can hear the bells. My father will smile. I can hear the bells. As he puts me down the aisle, my mother starts to cry. But I can't see cause Link and I are bridge kids in Listen, I can hear the
Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. Good job, girl. Good job. Another YouTube one, if y'all didn't notice that. James. No, not James. Steven. Hi, James. We'll get right back to you in a moment. Steven. Hi, Brandy. Hello. I've noticed that every song you sang this competition has been something very unique in its way of your performing theatrical abilities to it, costume changes, and holding down a really great melody. Again, you've outdid yourself. This is an awesome performance. Everything was there that you needed. The music, the talent, the performance, the theatrics, the costumes, and your partner. Who, who's your partner? Give him credit. Hello, that is my friend, Justin. He is Thank awesome. Thank you, Justin. Good awesome job, Justin. I mean, I loved everything about it. That was awesome. Thank you. All right, James. Uh, I have to agree with Steve. It's, it's a very good performance. Just an observation, though. I really love it when you open up and, and let your voice out. It seems like maybe uh, some of the music you choose is, I mean, it's, it's great music and all, but I would just really love to hear you open up and just let everything out because you got a great voice. And uh, that's my only critique, which isn't really a critique on the song. So, but that, that's one of my dreams is just to hear you just belt it out. Because uh, you got such a great voice, Thank so you. try and try and choose me a song where you just let it all out. All right, I will. All right, Samantha. Um, I completely agree with everything they've said. That was another great performance. You always seem to one up yourself, and that's that's a really good thing to be able to do. Because sometimes you'll you'll go too far and you'll hit you'll hit your ceiling, and then you have to come back down, and that's never good. You you always seem to bring it up a notch every time, and I like that. Um, your voice is always beautiful, and I, I do agree with what James said. Try something that really opens your throat up all the way, like the whole your whole voice out, all of it. That'll 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 be good. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Brandy. All right. Heather, come on up, Heather.
One day he goes and takes a glimpse in the mirror But he doesn't recognize his own face His health is fading and he doesn't know why Three letters took him to his final resting place Shot on him Don't go chase a waterfall Is it because my life is in shades of gray? I pray I'll pay and fade away Tell them praise for the sunny days And like his promise is true Only my faith can undo The many chances I blew To bring my life to a new Clear blue and unconditional Skies are dry the tears from my eyes No one only cries My only bleeding hope is for the folk who can't go With such an endure pain That'll keep them in the pouring rain Who's to blame for tooting candy to your own reign? What a shame you shoot a name for someone that's a friend. You claim the insane and then it's the end. Time for falling prey to God. I said it's just and got your victim to your own mind. Please the hope of separation and hope of coming true. Believe in yourself. The rest is up to me now. Don't chase the waterfall. We stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're gonna have your way or nothing at all But I think you're moving too fast Oh, you're moving too fast Don't go chase the waterfalls We stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to All right, Heather, way to go, Heather. And James. Hey, do you feel comfortable on that? Yes. I know that, and it showed. Uh, great performance. Uh, you know me. If I can be critical, I will. Uh, I don't pull any punches on you, but I have nothing to say. That was a great performance. Thank you. Uh. Um. Again, another amazing performance by you, ma'am, left eye. Um, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I really don't have any complaints. The only thing that I can think of maybe is just moving around the stage a little bit more, but you're so comfortable in that song and you were in your zone and I just, that's nitpicky. So that's it. All right. Thank you, Samantha. Steven. I can't really think of any critique other than the fact that I've heard you do the song before and it sounds better and better every time you do it. Even this time was better than the last time. You just get more comfortable with it and you let it flow. And like James says, when you find a song that you really believe that you're good at, you show that you're good at it and it becomes your song and people respect you for that. So awesome performance. Great job. Thank you. All right, judges, thank you. Thank you, Heather. Paul, come on up, Paul. Beauty 
I'd always miss with these eyes before. Just what the truth is, I can't say anymore. Cause I love you. Yes, I love you. Just what I'm going through They can't understand Some try to tell me Thoughts they can't defend Just what you want to be You will be at the end Cause I love you Yes, I love you Way to go, man. Way to go. Samantha. Hi, Polly. <laughs> um, that was a really great song choice for you. Um, perfect all the way across the board. There were a few times where I really wish that you would have had more oomph or power behind your voice. Um, but it is a very solemn song, so I get maybe where you were going with it. And then just more pulling the audience in. But otherwise... Great job. Thank you. Steven. I have to agree with Samantha, but I also feel like Simon on it somewhat. Here's why. First of all, I'd have killed the lights. You have the control over the stage and what you want. That song definitely needed to go dark. 
The next thing I noticed was the second, the third, fourth note that you were singing, they were wrong, they were out of key, but you brought it right back instantly. So I kind of like, uh, no, it's not, I can't hit every note all the time myself. But then I turned around and I noticed the 23 measure break, which you had nothing planned for. It was like, oh God, I forgot about the big break. There was something that had to happen magically in that, whether you brought a flutist or whether you pretended it or whether you actually just made your own part out of that singing oohs and ahs. And then again, like Sam was saying, the sultry voice, I wanted a little more of that. It's definitely a great song choice for you, but I want to hear you take it to the next level and perform it. Not just get up and karaoke sing it. Get up there and perform it. Make me believe that you're the Moody Blues. Or Paul doing an awesome version of it. Because that's that's what I believe you can do with it. You know. So uh, sometime in the future, hey, bring it and rock it. Thanks. Good job. Thank you, Simon. I mean, Stephen. Sorry. Yeah, pay no attention to the man under the hat. I, I thought it was a great job. Um, one disappointment was that the version didn't have the the poetry at the end, because I always love the poetry at the end for some reason, you know. Uh, but outside of that, I thought you did a great job. Uh, I agree to a certain point. What? Yes, from every room. Yes. Yes, the, there we go. I, I, it's getting quoted to me on the side here. Um, but I, I understand what they're saying about opening up, um, you know, on, on certain parts of it, to let, let that wonderful voice you have out. And, uh, you know, that's what we really look for because you, like, like Steve said, you own the stage, you know, you're the, you're the man when you're up there, you know, you own that bitch, as they say. So just let it out and, and keep up the good work. I, I enjoyed it a lot. So don't worry about Steve. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with Simon. James. I thought it was a great job, man. Good job. Some of them notes are rough and you took them all out. I thought, good job. All right, Paul. Great job, man. Richard, Richard, come on up.
danger every time she falls. Yeah, knock on my window, knock on my door. Richard, hey man, way to go. Steven. Richard, what an excellent way to close out our show for the night. The music was definitely there. You had a great sound all the way through it. I love that song. You did it. You rocked it. Thank you. James, James. Now I get it. Now I get it. Danny Zuko sung that to Sandy in that movie. I got it. Exactly. Okay. Uh, really, really good job on that. It, it fits your voice. You struggled on a couple of uh, areas, but that was breathing or possibly. Uh, try and relax your throat a little bit when you go into that falsetto. Uh, and that's what I always get told <laughs> when I hit that and it starts to crack a little bit. But outside of that, outstanding job, great selection for your voice. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Samantha. Thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. Um, I think... Overall, great performance. Always a great performance when you're on the stage. Um, like Steve said, an awesome way to end the night. Um, what James was saying with the, the high notes in, in some of the parts, you had almost every single one of them down. I was listening and very carefully because those are not easy notes. Um, a few times what it, it sounds like to me is you're pushing so hard, but it's coming out of your throat as opposed to your diaphragm, you can hit those notes, but you're straining your 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 vocal cords and your... Uh, it's hard to explain. I think you know what I'm saying, but just I, I if you it, pull yeah. it more from down here when you're trying to get those notes out, it'll come out without even thinking about it. Um, great job. And that's just me nitpicking, so Thank good you. job. Thank you, judges. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Way to go, dude. Way to go. All right, Richard, hold on. Don't go nowhere. Give me all the contestants. Come on up here, please. Don't forget, tonight is not an elimination night, but we do need your votes because they will accumulate and count over next week when it is elimination night. Samantha's got something to add real quick. Where's all the contestants? Everybody, come on up. Get on the stage, people. We only got four, three of them here? Um, Four or five. All right. Go ahead, Samantha. Real quick, I want to remind you guys, do not leave. Um, not next week because we're on a break next week. But the week after that, you guys are singing Judges' Choice songs. So we have to go deliberate and pick those songs for you. And then you need to obviously be here to know what you're singing. But the, the good news is, is that next week's a holiday. So you get two weeks. You get two weeks to work on it. So uh, let's see. Yes, yes, that's, that's what, what she just said. said. Don't go nowhere until you, you get your song. Your song. <laughs> All so, right. So we're going to want perfection. So, Daniel, Daniel raise your hand. hand. All right. Festus, Festus raise, raise your hand. hand. Alpha, Alpha T, T, raise your, raise your hand. hand. Todd, raise your hand. Oh, Rob, where you at? Man, we, we didn't recognize you. We didn't recognize you. Where's the dress? <laughs> He's got to get his manhood back. <laughs> Brandy, where you at? All righty. 
Heather, Heather where you at? Hey, Polly. And, Polly. and, and of course, course Richard. Richard. There, we, there go. we go. These are who you're, you're voting, voting for. Make sure you get your votes in. See Aaron. If you don't have a vote slip yet, raise your hand. Aaron will get to you. Make sure you write down one name and one name only and give that back to Aaron. So, everybody, wave goodbye. On behalf of Faces Lounge, all our judges, James, Samantha, and Stephen, everybody's beautiful. And Raging Cajun Karaoke, in the words of the great Casey Kasem, until next week, keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars, the shooting stars. We'll see you next week. We'll have open karaoke running for about till about one or so. So uh, I got a list of people up here now, and uh, we'll get it started with some open karaoke.